Hi everybody, I'm Lisa and welcome to Lisa's Stamp Studio. Back to Halloween cards this week. I don't know about you, but spider webs kind of freak me out. If you've ever walked underneath a tree or by a branch and you thought you felt something on you and you've got that like silky web feeling, I don't know, it's a little eerie. It's the one thing I'm not really crazy about next to frogs. But the brand new stamp set called Halloween Treat has the most adorable spider in it and it also has the most adorable owl. But you know what? I figured I can't be the only one who gets caught in a spider web sometimes, so I did the same thing to him. It's going to be difficult to see right now, but when we head over to the stamp table, I'm going to show you how he's got some beautiful silk threads wrapped around him from this little guy here. Remember, I offer online rewards for your shopping in my online store, so head over to my blog and check out those sneak peek pictures and the details there. Let's get started and get over to the stamp table. Today's card features a brand new curvy corner trio punch. Now that's gotta be a mouthful, isn't it? But check this out. And this is the one I actually used on my card today. But just so you can see it, but just so that you can see what it does, I've brought out a piece of scratch paper for you. So there's a corner circumference here for this design and a corner circumference here for this design. So since we're gonna use this one today, I wanted to show you the other one. So this slides in, make sure your paper's all the way to the back, and then you're gonna press on this end where the punch design is. And check that out. Is that not cool? I'm going to get a lot of use out of this, and I have to tell you, it punches beautifully. So make sure you add that to your wish list. Here's the card we're creating today, and let's start with that background paper. This is from the Happy Haunting Designer Series paper, and like all of our papers, it is double sided, so one side can be used for, geez, just about anything, even after the holidays are over. So I'm going to use that punch again, and this time I'm going to use this side for this card. So I'm going to slide this in all the way, making sure it's in all the way, and I'm pushing on this side of the design. So there we go, and the same thing on this end. That is gonna get attached to the base of Tangelo Twist cardstock, and this measures eight and a half by five and a half. I'm gonna fold that in half and use my bone folder for that crisp edge. And this is gonna eventually get mounted here. Let's talk a little bit about these pieces. This is a great project for scraps, and that's exactly what I have pulled out here. Three different designs from the same package of designer series paper. You know, I've chopped and put together and chopped and put together and decided, you know, I'm not going to throw these away. I'm going to use them for something. And this was a perfect project. Since they're so thin and I'm going to add adhesive to them, I'm going to use my craft mat to make sure I don't get adhesive on my work surface. And let me show you how slick this is. Going to turn them right side down. The spiders is the one I'm going to do first because it's going to go in the center. So I'm going to run a little bit of snail adhesive down here, just in little spurts all across here. This is the piece of designer series paper that we did the corners on. And I'm going to do this at an angle where I'm going to want the center of my image. So I'm going to do that mm, right about here. I'm going to press. Now remember, nothing sticks to the silicone mat, so that's just like a great plus. Next piece, then this is upside down, and I'm going to do the exact same thing. This is the last piece here. Now this one happens to be a little bit thinner than the other ones, but you know what? It doesn't matter because, like I said, great project for your scraps. And this one is the black stars, and that's going to go directly underneath this piece here. Now you can see it's longer than we need, which I did on purpose. So we're going to flip it over, and we're going to trim off the excess using the edges of that designer series paper as a guide. This is a small piece of Tangelo Twist cardstock. This measures a half an inch by two and three quarters using that black archival ink pad. I love this. And I'm using the words Happy Halloween. And this is from a very beloved stamp set in my stamp room. And this is called And Many More. It's just got a greeting for everything. So I'm going to stamp that in Happy Halloween and I'm going to stamp that on top of here. I want to make this a banner tip, and you can fussy cut it by hand, but I love my hexagon punch. So let me show you how I did this. This little area right here creates a point. So I'm going to slide my paper in, and I'm going to kind of eyeball where I want it. Do you see the point right here? If I squeeze, I'm going to get a perfect banner tip. I've added a little adhesive to the back, and then I can manipulate this how far over I want it. 
And again, we're gonna cut from the back any excess that we don't want. Here comes the fun part. This stamp set is adorable, and I'm gonna give you a spoiler alert. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and even to my blog if you're inclined, because I'm gonna show you some cool things to do with this set that have nothing to do with Halloween, and I guarantee you're gonna wish you had it. Today, we're gonna use the owl and the spider from the stamp set. Great thing about this set, though, is it also has coordinating framelits, and it cuts out every image in that set. And in addition to that, it gives you the word boo, which is really fun. So you can buy these together in a bundle, which will save you 15% off the total retail price. Here's my owl. He's stinking cute, and I want him in black, so I'm going to use my archival pad, and I'm going to ink him up good because he's a rather large image. I'm just going to check, make sure it looks good, and it does, and I'm going to put him here on a piece of scratch, very vanilla cardstock. Then I have Tangelo Twist ink pad, and here's my cute little spider. You can't, can't resist that cute little face, and I'm going to stamp him down here on the same piece of paper. And the beauty of having a framelit for everything, of course, is no fussy cutting, but you can die cut these all at the same time on one piece of scratch paper, which really cuts down on your time frame. I'll be using my Big Shot. This is my magnetic platform, which is going to make my life really easy. I'm going to put my paper on top of a clear mat, which is on top of the magnetic platform. And then I'm just going to line up my little owl. Doesn't have to be entirely perfect. There's supposed to be a little bit of space around him. And then I'm also going to line up my spider. Again, same plate, cover over the top to protect everything, and then I'm just going to crank this through. Again, same plate, cover over the top to protect everything, and then I'm just going to crank this through. So here we've got our images. We're just going to poke those out. Gotta love that it only took seconds, and they're cut out perfectly. Now, I decided with my little spider that mm, he needed a little web action. So I'll tell you what I did. I took out my dimensionals and I added a few to the back of my owl. So I put them on the wings and I put one near the bottom and one near his head. And then I took off the paper backing so that the sticky side was exposed. And this is gonna help me create that web. This is the silver metallic thread, and I love how shiny and thin it is, and I know it's gonna be difficult to see in the video, but bear with me here. I'm using this to hold down the thread. It sticks perfectly. And then all I'm gonna do is just wrap this little guy up like he's got stuck in some serious spider webs. And I am actually going to leave a piece coming straight down from his hand so that the spider can attach to it going to give this a little bit of a haircut. And again, I know it's difficult for you to see. So on my card, I'm going to attach my owl where I want him. I'm going to put another dimensional on the back of my spider. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach my spider as if he's coming off the web from here. Now any excess here, I'm just going to give this a little tweak and cut that off. So now I have my cute little owl all tangled up in his web. This then will get mounted to the base of my card. I wasn't sure if it needed something at the top or not, so I'd love your feedback. Leave me a comment. I did take three candy dots. This is from the Neutrals collection, and these are the black ones. And I used my paper piercing tool, and I just created a small border here at the top just to kind of give it a little finish look. Of course, that's optional if you don't care for it. So there you go. Really easy, especially with those framelits. Remember to purchase in a bundle when you can. That's going to save you 15%. So today's card, my original card, I'm so glad that you joined me. And remember, the products are available in my online store for exclusive rewards. Thanks everyone for watching, and I'll see you next week. Have a great day.